Hey YouTube lads, Tech Andrews here doing another action figure review. Now this is something that I recently picked up and it's my second uh, attempt, well my second stint into the Joy Toy uh, figures. It's If you're not familiar with Joy Toy they do a line of, well they do two lines, one to 18 scale and one to 1 24th scale. Uh, but my preferred line is the 1 to 18 scale so this is the 1 to 18 scale battle for the stars now if i can get the name of the unit uh, correct it is the starhawk 8 army indigo fleet so it's a bit of a mouthful if i just move the figures out of the way you can see the packaging so you have indigo fleet on the bottom everything is in chinese these are for ages 15 plus just so, uh, before I go on as well, uh, just for a disclaimer that these reviews are for collectors over the age of 13 plus, just for the uh, FTA and Cobra rules, just as I knock everyone over. Uh, so, they come in this clear box with the uh, printed packaging, so you have artwork of the characters on the front, so you can see they have all their gear on them. Uh, it's the Chinese Battle for the Stars, and there's a subline Starhawk. As far as I know, there's many different units in this wave. This is just one of the ones I picked up. I picked this up from a company called Factory Toys. Or sorry, not Factory Toys, Locker Toys. And they do a whole bunch of these, plus a few other things like the Acid Rains figures and the... What's the name of that? Is it the Zombie Wars, I think it's called? Or the, whatever the zombie line, the 118 scale zombie figures are. They do those as well. Uh, in fact, it was my first order with them as a kind of test of water to see how well they perform and how well, fast they arrive. And I will admit, they were pretty fast. I think I ordered them about a week. They came within maybe a week, two weeks at most. So I'm quite pleased. So when you get the figures, you have the main figures on the tray here at the front. There's two trays in this. Um, I won't open it up just for the review. But then on the back, you can see all the accessories. So you have the big shield here. There's actually two clips. You have a gray clip and a black clip, which is the one that I have on it. You have helmet, gas mask, goggles. And then you have the rifles and pistols. So, and it's the same the whole way down. I nearly panicked that I had thought I'd lost one of the pistols, but it actually turned out that I had left it in the packaging. So, but I'll show you how they come. So you have the shield, which is a, has a plug on it for the arm attachment and just plugs onto that. As I said, you have a gray one or you have this uh, black one. It's you're up to your choice, whichever one you want to use on it. They seem to be identical. I don't think they're I don't think it's like left and right. I think they're both for the same arm. From what I can see, yeah, they're both for the same wrist. So you can hold it like that. There's a lot of detail on this. It's got metallic blues, grey, with a wash over, danger, do not touch, PLA eight, and it's just a really cool looking right shield. These figures do have a lot of parts to them, but for the most part, these actually come pre-assembled. I have reviewed one previous figure from this company, uh, Joy Toy, which is the Spetsnaz. I think his name was like Alex, or something was the name of the character. And when you got him first, you actually had to put on a lot of the gear. And it was a bit confusing because they didn't really give you great instructions on how to attach all the gear. So... Thankfully, these later, newer ones seem to have all the gear pre-attached, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So, just a quick rundown for how they uh, come in the boxes. So, you get the figures like this. And if I just pull out, each figure is identical, except for head sculpts. So, I just pull the helmets off each guy. You can see that. They actually have different hair sculpts, slightly different paints. And for the last one, do the same thing. Again, you'd almost be convinced that they're, it's the same face, but they're actually slightly different. Each one has a different haircut. Um, if I just bring it a bit closer to the camera, hopefully that will show it up. 
you can see the different hairstyles. Um, it would have been nice if maybe they changed the hair colors because it is all the same color hair on each guy. So they do kind of look a bit like triplets. Maybe if they had some browns or blondes kind of thing or even red hairs, red hair, that would have been nice to change it up. So then they each come with one of these gas masks and it just slips over the head and it's designed to fit the mouth and nose section. And I think the way they're supposed to go is that they raise over the back of the head, just above the ears, because that seems to be the best way to get them on and then have the helmets fit on over that. Uh, I have it a bit askew at the moment. Let me just try and fix that. And then the third part of the, each one of these guys come with are these night vision sort of goggles. You can leave them off. You don't actually have to put them on. Again, you don't have to have the mask on. You don't have to have the helmet on. It's all personal choice. But if you want the full kind of team look, you put the mask, helmet and goggles on. And then they fit over that and they look pretty damn cool. Um, as I said, these guys have a lot of loose, well not loose, but a lot of separate parts. So these armbands are an actual separate piece. They can slip off the arms. Um, same with the legs. These uh, lower shin guards are a separate piece. You can slip them off. These um, thigh guards are a separate piece. Sometimes they tend to slip down, but for the most part they stay on. I'm pretty sure this entire body piece is separate as well. I don't want to actually take it off. And then the belt here is a separate piece. And as far as I know, I think on oh, the scarf is separate as well. The neck, neck scarf. So if you wanted to pull off the head, the head is on a double ball joint. You have a ball joint at the base of the neck and a ball joint at the base of the head. So they have quite a lot of range of movement. Uh, articulation, they're quite articulated. They have ball joints for the arms. Shoulders can go up that much. A little bit hindered by these shoulder pad things but if you move them out of the way you probably get a little bit more on them but when they're in their designated place they do kind of bump into it they have a rotation on the show on the shoulder a single swivel on the elbow with a single joint that gets a good over 90 degree bend swivel on the wrist and a hinge on the wrist they do have what appear to be double ball joints on the torso. So there's one underneath the armor piece, which you can't really see. And then there's another one lower down off the waist. So they do have a good range of movement on the waist and upper chest. Again, slightly hindered by this armor piece. Um, legs can kick out that much. They do get a little bit hindered by the sculpt. You can go for that much. Can't really go back too much. Again, sculpting the pants sculpt does hinder it a small bit. And then you got a thigh swivel, which is slightly hidden by the belt straps or the thigh guard strap. You got double hinge knees, which can get nearly over 90, well, can get over 90, but can't get right the way back onto the leg. And then you got a full tilt or a front foot tilt. And you got a rocker ankle and forward and back. The Boots are, or the shoes, I think they're either shoes or boots, I'm not sure which, they look more like shoes. They are a little bit hindered by the leg sculpt, or the pants sculpt, because it comes in a bit over the shoe. But not too much, you can still get a good side to side on them. But overall, really nice. And then, as I said, for the other accessories, they all come with the same rifle and pistol, if I can find where it went. So, you got this. Small, tiny, tiny, tiny pistol. If I can get the camera to focus on it. So it's a very nice looking pistol. And you get this really kind of cool, futuristic looking rifle. With kind of a, almost, it's not metal, like a gun metal. It looks like an off, kind of brassy metal colour. Not sure if the camera's picking that up. And then you got this kind of tan colour. And do you actually have a red dot? No, you don't get the red dot. But uh, it's really nice done now they only have one trigger finger hand which is quite nice and i'll show you why in a minute so you have a trigger finger hand you have the working holster for the pistol again as i said i thought i'd lost one of these but it was actually still sitting in the packaging when i was so excited to get these guys and open them up the shield it goes in this hand here and then has a clip 
clip it onto the forearm so you have some really cool movement and the reason why the trigger fingers are quite nice now if i bring in the old one this is the spetsna guy this is one of their earlier figures all these plates here these front plate these thigh guards these little pockets um they were all separate in the packaging you have to actually attach them which was a bit of a pain in the butt but the reason why the trigger fingers are quite nice is if you see on this guy actually if i just move his hand out into the light a bit you see these guys didn't actually have sculpted trigger fingers uh it's something they added later on i think people were kind of going you know complaining that they didn't actually have trigger fingers on their figures and uh they listened to them so they must have added to them because if you look at the rifle on this it doesn't actually have a trigger on it so i do have other weapons just for the show actually i'll just put this guy in behind so you can see the scale so i just move this out of the way this is actually one of the rifles it's a very nicely sculpted rifle um it's one of the rifles that came with those capsule i think they're called epoch skeleton warriors or something they're like a japanese uh capsule figure that came with you had like options for normal skeletons and then there was an upgrade for weapons for them so this is the rifle that came with those as you can see you can hold it pretty nicely one of the other weapons i had in this guy's hand which looked really cool is this old bbi uh 1 to 18 scale grenade launcher you can hold it pretty nicely and look like he's firing it pretty well and then you have like the standard stuff like the uh kind of gi joe rifles and machine rifle or pistols and things like that they can all hold those pretty nicely in those hands uh, if i just bring it up a bit closer get the zoom in on it so you have some really good um hold story or really good options and just for a scale comparison i just get i'm not sure will i get everyone standing up they'll probably all fall down but we'll just get them all standing so i'll just bring in my tape measure so you can see the scale probably should have done this first so they stand just a little over four inches with the helmets on uh without the helmets they stand probably exactly four inches yeah so they're one to eating scale so for size comparison i have a few options here is the uh, probably the worst one to bring in first because you the spindly legs the 118 scale hyatoys neomorph from alien covenant yeah he's not gonna stand yeah, there destro from gi joe that's the 25th anniversary version king shark from the batman the recent um spin masters batman series what is it puma i think it is from the core uh technique from fortnite the four inch scale version and then if we can fit it in just move the box behind here one of the lanard alien the alien warriors from the uh alien collection set that they've done so overall you can see the scale of these guys they work quite well with any wood eating scale um i'm not sure about fitting them in vehicles i haven't tried doing that but with a little maneuvering and maybe a bit of patience they should be able to fit most vehicles that can fit a set uh can fit a seated uh figure so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the battle for the stars uh starhawk 8 army indigo fleet which again is a bit of a mouthful but um well i'll put a link in the description for locker toys but you can also pre-order these guys i think they're for pre-order might be available at the moment you can actually um order some on big bad toy stores also i'll put a link for both places and if you are failing that you might have to pay third party prices on ebay so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this quick video review and as i say in my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel cheers guys